Hello, Ariel fam. I am warming up for the Ariel Hammock Intermediate Tricks that I revisit regularly to get better as an aerial dancer. If you have followed these basic videos and also these hammock trick videos, you are going to love the tricks that we're going to do today. The tricks are broken down into three categories. They're movement, balance, and technique. Oh, and by the way, there's a bonus trick in the end, probably a mini challenge for you today. Today, we're starting with these two basic movements. My secret of smooth, fluid aerial movements is slowing down so I can focus on feeling the movement. I'm stepping my left leg first, and then I'm gonna lift my left leg, right leg, sorry. Go straight out into the side, and then hook. Roll up, straight side, and hook. Then now I can come up here, also bring my arms over here, and then hold for pose. If you were swinging the first time, let's try one more time on the other side with one fluid movement that is nice and controlled. Now, right leg, again, straight up to the side and then hook. If you find it difficult to hook, this is not really about flexibility. You can see I'm really leaning everything back, pointing this leg so that I have room to hook. And then go up and bring the arms over here and push it here. It's not necessary to have lots of flexibility for this, but you can always train with us to get some active flexibility to advance. I'm gonna make a little knot to make my long hammock just a bit shorter so I have some space to play around underneath. Be very careful because sometimes if you tie them too short, they might go undone. So now I can bring one leg in. I can practice some arm movement in this position, long, now I'm bringing my arms between the fabric of this arm to reach. Just practice having some energy in the hand, not like <laughs> some energy. And then now leaning back slightly so you give some space for this leg to come here and then reach again with energy. Turn again, then now we can switch legs. So just really work on strong and movement with direction. So that's how we work on making our arm movement look more natural. For this exercise, I also need it to be a bit shorter, so I'm gonna keep my knot, but you can also do this on shorter hammocks. Squeeze the butt, but I'm keeping the legs up as I turn. If I don't, I get stuck like this. The reason why I started working on this trick is because I learned the windmill down in the retreat. And I found out that to do this trick, you really have to 
keep your abs tight and strong but not just the front also the side because you're rolling on this once we get this trick down there's lots of progressions that we can do so let me just try it <laughs> i'm keeping my legs bent and working towards doing this roll with straight legs The next trick, we are basically wrapping our body with the hammock, but it's slightly trickier because we are going upside down and also turning our body while we're upside down. So I'm going to start facing this way, but then once I finish, I'm going to face that way. It might seem a bit tricky at the beginning, but once you get it, it's actually quite easy. I am pulling up and wrapping my left leg onto the fabric from the outside. Watch my foot here. It's alive. Depends on how this is hooking. Watch my left arm wrap the hammock one time and grab. When I straighten my arm, you can see the fabric is under my armpit. Now I can naturally turn my body as I push. Slowly bring my right arm here for a back bend. It's optional to bring the right leg down. It might take a few tries before getting used to this trick. Don't get frustrated because you'll get it soon. There's also a full beginner video for a foot lock. You can check there for detail. And today we're gonna focus on doing it nice and smooth. Starting with the left leg. Remember, it's the opposite fabric, so I'm grabbing the right fabric and then point to the left. Open my chest to lift, leg in and out. That was one wrap. Now let's do three wraps back and forth elegantly. Think about keeping your legs and feet nice and strong, directing the movement, but all your strength should be coming from your core. So we're going to start with the pull up so you have space underneath to, you know, do these tricks with your feet. Leg, grab, pull with the other leg. Now you can stand on it. To release, flex, flex, and then turn, pull up. Now I have space underneath, wrap my right. Wrap like this. So now I can stand on it. Make sure you are wrapping your full up on the side not on the bottom of the hammock. Let me try to show you on my bad side. Wrap, pull, and wrap. Oh, actually my bad side is better today. So again, to come back out, you just have to flex to release. Bonus trick. Start here. Keep my hands on the fabric. I am turning my left foot like this. Bring my right foot over the hammock. This foot is just to remember what I'm going to do next. And it's going to happen fast. Let's watch.
This is just like the single hook that we did at the beginning of this video. But there's more tension, so it will take slightly more strength to get this. And perhaps it is easier to do this trick with a swivel. Which is your favorite trick? I hope you get them all today. If not today, probably tomorrow. So many of you have been asking for different types of videos. So my plan now is to share with you this hammock intermediate video. And next week you will find a super easy beginner video on hammock. So then I can see which one you like better so that I can make more content for those who practice with us more. Before you go today, let me bring your attention to our coffee page, which is now our pizza page, where you can buy us pizza to support us to make more amazing content on aerial practice. It's gonna help us to deliver more quality content and live sessions. Oh yeah, and I also started sharing updates on our pizza page so you can see where we spend our time and money on and what you are going to see next. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a beautiful day and fly safe.